Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us see how to make use of at the rate of JSON getter and at the rate of JSON setter. These two annotations come to use when you have a customized getter and a setter in your object. Let us quickly take a look at an example. For this example, I'm going to introduce a new field called is student, which is going to be a Boolean field in our student object. The getters and setters have been automatically generated and let us quickly run this example. So I'm here in the postman and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a value as true for the is student field. Let me click on send and we have got the output. So you could see here what happened here. We tried to send a value true for is student but we got a different field and a value as false. This is because the getters and setters will be generated in a different way when you use a boolean field. So in order to avoid this, you can set JSON setter and give the name of the field here. It's going to be student. So this way, when the object is deserialized, it will automatically understand that this setter is for the field is student. Let me stop the server and let me run it again. Now let us click on send and you could see here we try to send is student as true and we got the response is student as true. So this is an example of JSON setter. The same goes for the JSON getter also. Let's say you have a customized method here the student and you want to map this as a getter for the is student then in this case you will be using a JSON getter. So this is how you make use of at the rate of JSON getter and at the rate of JSON setter. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.